equations, tables, and graphs. The interesting thing about equations, and we're going to be working mostly with linear equations for right now, uh, which are going to look like y equals ax plus b, is that they're the same information or the same relationship as a table or a graph. It just looks different. So they're the same relationship. All right, let's start by graphing the equation y equals 2x plus 2. To graph an equation, it's usually easier to start off with a table. And we need to start with some x values. That's the independent variable. We pick that one first. So x could be 0, 1, and 2. Pick easy values for x. Now we insert these into the x to find out how much the y is. So 2 times 0 is 0 plus 2 is 2. We got y equals 2 times 1 is 2 plus 2 is 4. Last one here, 2. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6. And hopefully you can recognize that there's a pattern here that we are increasing by 2. And that's going to be connected to the variable that's being multiplied times the x, the coefficient of the x. Now let's graph it and see what it looks like. All you need to do is take your ordered pairs, 0, 2, and plot them on the graph. Make sure that you label your axes to see what you're counting by. I'm going to count by twos. All right, so the first one's zero, two, put a point. Then we have one, four. So one's about right there. Go up to four, put a point. Last one's two, Six. We come over to the two, go up to the six, and put a point. If you're on paper, use a straight edge or a ruler and draw a line through the points to show the relationship. This equation is the same relationship as the points and the same as this line on the graph. All right, this time I'm starting with a table and I want to figure out the equation and the graph. Graphing it should be easy. You're going to graph it the same way we did before, looking at the ordered pairs, 0, 1. Make sure you label it. This time I'm going to count by ones. Alright, so my first point is 0, 1, put a point. Next one is 1, 1.5, put a point, last one's 2, 2, draw my line, alright, so now we want to make an equation for this relationship reflected in the table and in the graph, and lines are typically going to look something like y equals ax plus b, and we need to replace the a and the b. Now, looking at this one, we have 0, 1. 1 equals a times 0 plus b. Well, a times 0 is 0, leaving b equaling 1. So we know that it's going to look something like y equals something times x plus 1. Now we look at how much is it growing each step. Well, it grew a half. So we're multiplying half times the x and then adding 1. Now let's check it out. Let's make sure that these points make it true. So I'm using the point 1, 1 and a half. So 1 and a half is the y equals one half 
times 1 plus 1. Is that true? Yes. All right, let's try and take a graph and find the table and the equation. It's probably easiest to start off by looking at the graph, finding points, and putting those points into a table. Now, you find the points on the line by looking for intersection points. The line is actually made up of infinite number of points, but we, it, we want exact coordinates. And so we look for the intersection points where two lines cross. That is where we can tell exactly what the coordinates are for the point. So we have a point right here, right here, right here, right here. And we can put these points into the table. So we have the point 0, 0, 1, 3, 2, 6, and even 3. Nine. Now, your equation is probably going to look something like y equals ax plus b. And in this case, we have the origin as a solution. That means that 0 is going to be equal to a times 0 plus b. This cancels out, leaving b having to be equal to zero. So we don't even need it in this case. B is going to be zero. It's going to be nothing. So our equation is going to look like y equals ax. What is happening to the x's to turn into the y's? You can see that they're being multiplied by three. So the equation is going to be y equals 3x, and you can check it. If you take 2 as your x and put it in, 3 times 2 is 6. That's correct. Now we got 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So this is the correct equation for this line.